Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and The Restless spoilers, Stephen Hamilton Winters may be in for a nasty awakening when Lily Winters returns between March 11 and March 15. Stephen has dealt with a lot of office drama since Lily's absence, owing primarily to Billy Abbott's fill-in duties. I and our supporters are aware that Billy has been attempting to seize authority, which does not sit well with Stephen, who is known for his need for control. It has been a horrible combination and it has caused some serious enmity at Chancellor Winters. Steven may be relieved to see Lily stroll through Chancellor Winters' doors, but she may not take the expected position. For starters, Lily may be in a sour mood after discovering Daniel Romilotti Jr. enjoying a pleasant family supper with Heather Stevens and Lucy Romilotti. That would be oak if it were simply an innocent act of co-parenting, but Lily will soon realize that is not the case. It may not be long until Lily knows Daniel cheated on her and Devin knew about it. Devin didn't want to disrupt Lily's life any further while she was abroad dealing with Maddie Ashby's issue, so he decided to keep the secret as long as Lily didn't ask him for the truth. However, Lily may believe Devin should have spoken honest straight away, or at least compelled Daniel to do so. You can guarantee Lily will be upset that she was treated as if she were made of glass while Daniel was betraying her. All of this could benefit Billy once Lily is back in the picture. Lily may easily create an alliance with Billy at work, making life difficult for Devin. In other words, Devin may pay the price for keeping secrets when Lily returns and ensures Billy's loud voice is still heard at work. Billy may be Lily's co-CEO, or at least her CEO, so he might stick around and agree if Lily becomes an ally. That could lead to Billy and Lily rekindling their romance at some time, so stay tuned for any exciting developments. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Lily's return will undoubtedly rock up Geno City. Today on The Young and the Restless, Victor explains his plan to revenge against Jordan. Victoria defends Claire, and Nick takes a big move. Summer and Chance wake up feeling great in bed after a really lovely night. However, Chance receives a text message from Billy informing him that he is back in town and would like to speak with him. Summer and Chance then get very heated and passionate in the shower. Billy runs into Phyllis at society and suspects something is wrong, so he questions her about it. But Phyllis is having none of his judgmental vibes and orders him to scram. Later, Billy is seated at a table when Chance calls him. Billy recommends they meet at society, but Chance is preoccupied with Summer, who is tempting him to join her in the shower. Chance tells Billy not to worry. He'll show up when he can. Meanwhile, Billy can't stop looking at Phyllis, who is sipping a drink while wearing sunglasses. He walks back to her, stating he's back to torment her, and insists on cheering her up because it's evident she's upset. After some urging, Phyllis removes her sunglasses and informs Billy that she does not wish to discuss the matter. She brings up Chancellor Winters and mentions hearing that he is trying to make a move within the organization. Apparently, she learned about it from Amanda, and there is some power play going on between him and Evan. Summer and Chance arrive at society. Summer meets her mother and almost leaves, but Chance persuades her not to let anyone ruin their day. Chance and Billy go to talk, as Phyllis questions Summer about what's going on between her and Chance. Summer dodges her mother's queries, but Phyllis notices she's beaming. Summer says she's having a nice time with Chance and believes he is, too. Phyllis mentions that at least one of them is doing well in the romance department. Summer then flips the script and begins questioning her mother about what's going on with her and why she's having a Bloody Mary for breakfast. She wonders if it has anything to do with Dan. Danny who? Phyllis dismisses Billy it, questions refusing Chance. to discuss it. Meanwhile, Billy and Chance get down to business. Billy wants to know what happened while he was away. Chance implies that no one seemed to miss Billy, to which Billy smugly replies that's precisely what he wanted to hear. He says his presence keeps everyone on their toes, 
Chance expresses his suspicions, wondering whether Billy is using him as a spy for some reason. Billy contends that it would be preferable for him to have a larger presence had Chancellor Winters to defend Jill's interests, which are ultimately theirs. He tells Chance that if he wants to work for the corporation, he must follow in his footsteps. Adam returns and goes directly to Newman Enterprises, where he meets Nick. Nick assumed he'd still be out of town. Adam explains that he came to get something for his son. Nick then informs him that he is available for whatever he needs. Adam explains that he was meant to meet Victor, but he has gone missing. He also claims to have seen Claire's release on the news. Then Nick discloses that Victoria's house burned down, but happily no one was injured. Suddenly, they both receive a text from Michael requesting them to come to the ranch as soon as possible, stating that it is extremely vital. Adam is ready to go, but Nick is hooked to his phone, dealing with some important information he has been waiting for. He informs Adam that he'll catch up at the ranch. Michael arrives at the ranch, and Nikki is delighted to see him, but she begins probing him about Victor. She is all on getting every detail. Michael apologizes for being so covered, but adds that Victor sent him to update them on his grand plan. Claire then appears, asking about Victor, followed by Victoria and Cole, who want the full story. Nikki explains that Victor hooked up with Jordan and has not returned. Adam walks in clueless. Michael reveals that Victor is with Jordan and she is holding him prisoner. Tension is rising, but Michael explains that Jordan arrived with a gun during the meeting. Everyone is worried and wondering how Michael let things go down like that. Michael argues that no one can push Victor about, and he was attempting to demonstrate to Jordan that it wasn't a setup. Adam begins probing Claire about her role and whether she is still in league with her aunt. Claire's parents defend her, claiming she put herself in danger to assist Victor's plan. Claire thinks that Jordan, like the rest of them, should be locked up. Cole dismisses the claims, and Claire criticizes Adam for not being as hospitable as the other Newmans. Michael informs them that he does not know what Victor is going to do next, but that Victor hinted at a great surprise for Jordan that she will not expect. Victor's wild ride. Victor is behind the wheel, and Jordan is holding a gun to his head. He tells her not to worry because he will see things through to completion. He reminds her that he honors his agreements. Jordan inquires as to what his family thinks of this little setup. He tries to make it seem like it was all his idea, but Jordan isn't buying it. So Jordan takes him to a dodgy warehouse and says he's done for. She's talking about how she wanted both him and Nikki to die, but now she's settling for just one. But just when things couldn't get much weirder, Nick enters with a taser. Nick stuns Jordan, and she collapses. Victor tells his kid that he was worried he wouldn't show up. Later, Jordan wakes up bewildered, and Victor teases her about being in France. She begins to wonder how Nick even found them in the warehouse. Victor then discloses that he has a tracking device. Victor concludes by issuing Jordan a scary warning. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.